Wait, is that a... Oh, yeah, I think this guy's called a Hulk. You get an achievement for killing it. Oh, the fire! Oh, yeah, this guy hurts. He hurts really bad. Wait, yo, we got people in front of us! Ball's dead! Run! Oh, shit! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, I died! Cucumber. What? Yo, ma. What? I'm on fire. I died. Oh. Be injured in all limbs at the same time. I got an achievement. Administering freedom. God damn, do I love liberty. Freedom. That's what I like to see. All right. <laughs> All right, look at that. Oh, Jesus! Oh. Why, hello there, civilians. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the steps I took to gain my freedom and showcase the achievements I got along my journey. Come on and join me so I can take you on the path of becoming a hell diver by pledging your life to the great super earth. And before we get started, make sure to click on the subscription bar to get notifications when I post videos like this propaganda film, or I mean instructional video, to know how to become a hell diver. And finally, join my live streams to see my skills in action. But without further ado, I'll let my friend in combat explain why you should become a hell diver become part of an elite peacekeeping force see exotic new life forms and spread managed democracy throughout the galaxy become a hero become a legend Become a hell diver. But hey, before you can take on those ravenous bugs and robots, we need to take you through basic training. What do you learn during basic training? Well, the first thing is to learn how to use your navigation controls. Pretty basic, sure. But what about learning how to dive and not get shot in the face? The real Oh my god! Yeah, don't be like him. And you'll also learn how to use a med kit for when the bugs give you a prick on the shoulder, how to blast a bug with a weapon, how to use a stratagem for your spreading of democracy, and many more. And at the end of this basic training, you can wear your newly found cape to officially become a hell diver for Super Earth. Liberty, democracy, justice. They're in your hands now. General Brush, over and out. All right, Helldivers, it's now time to prove with what you've got to become a fully-fledged freedom-fighting democracy spreader of Super Earth. Let's follow along the journey that I had to take for the rest of these Helldivers achievements. To begin, after gaining my Helldivers cape, I suited myself up to look like a major badass, which landed me the Strapping Young Lad achievement, which now it's time to actually fight for Super Earth by taking on my first bug mission. And to be fair, this game is pretty tight, not gonna lie. Just getting into the match by dropping down onto the planet is very reminiscent of Halo ODSTs, which is a good compliment. But this first bug mission was my first time really ever seeing gameplay, so I was just enamored with the graphics, fluidity, and just awesomeness of the bug swarms. How about a nice shit, shit, shit. Get up, no! Get some! Get some! Get some indeed. Which after waiting for my extraction, the carrier ship came down, scooped me up, and officially gave me my first mission achievement. Oh, and don't think I'm not gonna at least mention the amount of times I got kicked out of the game because of the server capacity, because good God, there were a lot. And for context, I bought this game three days after it came out, and that was probably the worst decision I've ever made. Like for example, just after getting that bug mission achievement, my XP and rewards never counted, so I could not 
not do anything and the game would not let me go into a match, but hey, at least I was able to get some gnarly achievements, I guess. But luckily, I was able to get into the game on my second day, which would help me make some progress. And yes, I did pay a little extra for the Super Citizen Edition, because why would I not want this DDR arcade machine to waste time on and gain nothing from? Fuck. But enough of that, I obviously had to go for some bug missions. And by the way, this game works off of a difficulty progression setting, as in, there are nine separate difficulties that each have their own variations, additions, and stronger enemy types. It starts from trivial all the way up to nine more levels to hell dive, which you'll see soon enough. And as I was saying, I landed on a new bug mission, killed some brood commanders, killed 150 enemies in a single mission, and I learned the hard way about why you should always clear every single bug around you before calling in extraction. Extraction, please! Which that is a good thing to point out because our HUD system includes the number of reinforcements or lives left in the match, the obvious gun, ammo and health bars, and finally the difficulty, time left, and objectives to complete your whole experience. And when you have teammates, those lives in the top left will start dropping like flies, trust me. And before I started to team up with my friends and others, I was just freeballing it solo for a while and made some new friends along the way. Oh my god! Oh my god, man! Bro! Oh my god! I literally can't move! Oh my god! Okay, bro, what happened to my mouse? But after that struggle bus, I launched my first nuke, which I got to witness that mushroom cloud for the first time, and then I got the hell out of there by a simple defensive maneuver and got extracted, which I finally decided to man up and take on the damn Terminators once and for all. And these matches can literally last like 40 plus minutes, and I somehow found a random crew and tagged along for the intense match against the robots. Oh. oh, I jumped into that. Oh, come on. This is so awesome. This is amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I got another one to be the Hulk. Yeah, he another player is using stims. Dude, this is so, this is such a good game. Oh man, this is such a good game. Play one bot mission. And that was pretty much the last time I could really play for a while. Not because I was busy, but this was when the infamous server capacity was an issue and everyone and their moms wanted to play this game. These devs are literally struggling from success and you love to see it. But after around four days, I was able to finally get in the game with my friends so we can play some more and unlock additional achievements. And if you're new to my channel, two of my best pals that play with me are named Mole and Cucumber. They are gamers just like me and we all three just mesh well or so i thought see artillery <laughs> i just got an achievement for that cool guys don't look i flew at least 25 meters from a shockwave Okay, I'm gonna be honest. A lot. My bad. God, I love this game. But this match had it all. Mo exploding by a random landmine. Oh. Mo? Cucumber getting pushed around. 
Oh, is it that? Oh! oh. <laughs> yep, it's that. <laughs> and me just being me. Oh my god, there's a big turret looking right at me. Oh, we just made me fly! <laughs> It was perfection. Speaking of perfection, I injured all of my limbs at the same time before dying. And with that death, there were no more reinforcements left. So Mole clutched it out, extracted, and helped me land two achievements. One for playing a planet defense mission and one for completing the mission, but not extracting. Also, like I just said from before, this mission took 42 minutes to extract. And it seriously did not feel that long when having a blast. Continuing on, we decided to move back to the bug swarms to live our starship Trooper fantasies, for which we landed one achievement for specifically blowing up stalker lairs, which these are bugs that can go invisible and can toss you far into the air. But another bug type that I should mention are the Bile Titans. They are like these huge ass daddy long leg looking arachnids that are insanely tanky and huge on damage. It was a little too much, but luckily Mole landed directly on the Titan from a reinforcement drop and instantly killed it. Score one for democracy, baby. But I can't say much more than that because my team and I were friendly firing like crazy. Oh, yeah, there's a lot behind you. I'm throwing a lot. Hold on. No, 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 move, 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 move. I threw a grenade on you. No. Oh. I, I didn't know you were going to stop. I'm sorry. I got you, both. Move, go, move. Two seconds. Oh, no, I'm oh, You went right by bullets. Got another teammate killed. Literally, I just... Ow! Oh. What the f That was not me. That was not me. I don't me. care. I'm saying it's you. But around 20 minutes later, we would run out of time just before the shuttle landed, which after extracting would land us the in the nick of time achievement for doing just that. And unfortunately, we landed up at the server capacity for the rest of the night, or should I say for the next five days. I literally could not get into the game no matter what time or day I chose. I wanted to play so badly, but patience is a virtue because I'll have my time soon enough. And soon enough was five days later, which I quite literally only got 30 minutes of play time before I got kicked off again, but this time I got two trophies for killing a bug warrior with a shotgun within one meter and for extracting with a full team on hard difficulty or above. Then that's all she wrote for that day. Uh. Then that's all she wrote for that day. But two days later, the servers were finally being okay for once and I knew I was ready to grind like crazy. First off, I would bring Mole with me to start our grind, to which of our amazement, we would start off by looking for another bile titan to destroy the bile titan put up a good fight and actually managed to kill me but this titan cannot stop me from spreading democracy here we go here we go here we go Whoa. Oh. <laughs> the enemy. let's go Mole and I would get absolutely wiped a few times to inevitably be pushed back to Robo Planets, which these robots like to throw grenades, so I decided to attempt to throw it back, which would land me the Hot Potato Achievement. And at this point, we just started to queue up with randoms to have experiences on different planets, for which, on one dusty planet, I completed 10 tactical objectives, I killed a target over 100 meters, which doesn't make any sense because I'm pretty sure placing down a sentry turret and running away still counted it as the Legit. I don't know, man. Later on, I would provide an assistant reload the mole. I cluster bombed the hell out of 25 enemies with a single stratagem. And immediately after that, Mole and I tried our best to run away from the hell forsaken bugs, but ended up with failure. Oh, no! Please! Why? Yeah. Oh my god! Moving on, Mole and I had another amazing game where we got to the extraction point, called in the shuttle, and were running out of supplies to the point where things were looking extremely brim. No. I have two chargers on me. Jesus. And I'm stuck in the water. I'm dead. Oh my god. Well, if you could try to heal me, I don't think so, but I have nothing. I. Oh, I'm still alive somehow. Oh, if you can heal me. My life and savior. It killed it. Get in. I cannot believe we just did that, Mo. Oh my god. I really. I have no clue how I lived. 
I have absolutely zero clue. Oh, yes! And you know, some of my favorite moments in this game are the accidental bugs, getting thrown around like a rag doll, destroying bile titans by any means necessary, and just the amount of friendly fires you inflict onto your teammates or yourself. It's just so beautiful, man. Oh, come on, and the charger. Ah! Jesus! You just shot me. Damn, you shouldn't have stepped in front of me. What do you mean? I was away from you. No, you can go under it. <laughs> Look at what you did. That is deadly. Oh, I love it. But all right, enough of me yapping and chilling my amazing teammates. Cucumber and an additional buddy of mine, Strawberry, would all throw six stratagems together for one big ass explosion for a specific achievement. Orbital incoming. Orbital incoming. Orbital incoming. Calling in an orbital strike. Calling in an orbital strike. Orbital incoming. Orbital incoming. If that doesn't fucking do it, I don't know what to say. That was like perfect. Jesus. There you go. Oh, there we go. Easy. See, I told you it would work. Oh, oh I just. No. I would continue this trend by killing a charger with a resupply stratagem, which was easier than I thought. I killed 5,000 enemies for a cumulative achievement. I went full flame on mode for killing 100 enemies with fire damage in a single mission. And we attempted to go after Gone in 360 seconds, which is wanting you to complete an extreme difficulty blitz mission under six minutes. And this achievement is the rarest on PC at the moment, but watch what happens next on our first try. Okay. All right, get ready, get ready. Gotta get in, gotta get in. Oh my God, two seconds. Oh, I saw it. I literally just saw it. 59, 559. Dude, you are, jo <laughs> you're joking. But hey, after another try, we easily got to the extraction point, called the shuttle, and extracted to bask in the achievement glory. Finally, the last two achievements for tonight were way easier than I thought, which included one for completing a hard difficulty mission or higher without using a primary or support weapon. And then lastly, the get some achievement was done in relative ease, to which gave me a genuine surprised reaction. Oh, there's a lot of guys running. Hold on. Run. I'm going to drop on the nuke because... Hold on, hold on. Wait, he broke. That didn't Damn it. Oh, I got it. Oh my god, I actually just got it. Fire at least 150 rounds in one burst, killing at least 10 enemies. Yo, you want this weapon? Here you go. So now that the servers are insanely active and working most of the time, these next eight achievements were simple as can be. When you have a complete understanding on how the bugs, weapons, and objectives work, it becomes a full-on playground of just messing about and just having fun overall. Like our next achievement wanted us to use a jump pack and knock ourselves into a ragdoll state. So Strawberry suggested throwing a grenade under you mid-flight, and of course, it worked flawlessly. The Mythbusters would be so proud of us. So only two of the 38 achievements got me insanely angry, which one of them is called the let's call it a draw. It simply wants you to shoot some Hulk dude's arms off and extract. It's actually pretty easy to set up, but knowing me, the game made it extremely hard to get this achievement without losing my sanity. Oh, come on, really? Okay, almost there, almost there. Let me get this last one. Dude! This guy keeps one-shotting me! I'm trying to... Oh, come on. Come on, dude! Look at this! Look at this! Do you see what's going on? Literally, I'm just like, what? Is, why am I getting this luck? What is this? Like, like I get fucking body slammed everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This fucking game right now, I'm gonna I'm right. flip it out. He's standing right there. I know, I'm reloading it. Okay, I got his arms out. <laughs> fucking please. Thank you. Oh my god. That dude, I was getting so angry. <laughs>
Oh I my know how I feel. God. The few remaining achievements comprised of extracting 15 rare samples, completing an extreme difficulty mission or higher without anyone dying, reaching max level on a ship module, which if you don't know, ship modules are another form of upgrades for your hell divers, stratagem, and all the sorts. Then I would grab another cumulative achievement for playing at least 50 missions, and I would finally upgrade every single ship module to level one, which took quite a bit of green samples, if I do say so myself, which it all comes down to the last and final achievement, doing your part. This achievement seems straightforward, but this description is wrong because it's not talking about any completed missions, but it wants you to win at least 100 missions. Basically, I'm a straight up dumbass because I can't read between the lines. My bad. And let's not all forget about the glorious sacrifices that have been made for this journey or the countless hours I just spent team killing. And I unfortunately have some bad news. I did not actually record a reaction to to unlocking this final achievement. So yes, shame me all you want. But I would not leave you guys hanging, so let me send you respectable Helldivers off with a glorified bang. Okay, yeah, watch out. Watch out. Did we just have the same idea? We did! Let this, let this go blow. Oh! <laughs> That's what I call. Spread, yo, give me a hug. We gotta hug on that one. That's the democracy of... Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, it happened, whatever.